morning. I see you got your uh, your water flipped over on me again. Both of them. Really school. Oh, I got a wind out egg. My bantams are laying again. Woohoo! See that little uh, beige egg? That's a wind out egg. My silkies. So that would be from these guys right here. I'll just make sure there's no more. So that's great. I got wine dots laying and so I should have Easter eggs soon too. That means their molting is coming to an end. I want to get those eggs out. I want to show you what I mean by a bantam egg. The difference between a bantam and one of these sexlings. So this little beige egg, it's a partridge wind up egg. And I want to put that in with my quail eggs in my pocket. And then I'm going to take a sexling egg out to show you the difference. And this is a sexling egg. So they're quite a lot larger. Of course, they are a larger bird to begin with. I'm going to show you the difference. There's how much larger a sexling and a wine dot is. Um, I'm going to put those in with my quail eggs. I want to show you the difference between a sexling and a quail too. So those are my quail eggs and that's my sexling eggs. Quite a big difference. So that is awesome. I have two sexling eggs. This one's speckled. And a bantam in here. So that means my bantams are now laying again. So my intent for this video is to come out and show you or ask you some advice. I have these little white uh, silkies um, and they're not growing they're the same age they were hatched the same from the same hatch as my brown silkies um, so they're exactly the same age but they're not growing and they're like half the size of my brown silkies so I want to get your opinion on them I'm going to show right you them here. Right quick. fuzzy butt or Cheech and Chong as my husband calls them are my don't peck my finger my brown silkies and then that one right there, a little focus. That one right there is my white silk. That is actually, I think, the smaller of the two. Um, yeah, the other one's back there. And they're about half the size of the brown silkies. And we don't understand why. Um, they were hatched in June. And they've been in here since end of August. They they moved in here the end of August. So there's the bigger one of the two. Two white ones. And uh, she's about half that one in there is about half the size even of that one. Um, but they're about half the size of the brown ones. And like I said they came from the same hatch so we don't understand that. Hi baby. This one's Cheecher. Ow! And Cheecher packs. The other one's Chong. We don't have names for the white ones. I've been calling them the fluffy butts. Um, but we don't know, understand why they're not growing as fast. So another thing I wanted to talk about was when a chicken gets egg bound and that are molting. Um, my wine dots were molting. And I was pretty sure they were egg bound because their molting has pretty much stopped except for my naked neck Mavis. Um, she is still molting a little bit, uh, but the rest of them have re pretty much stopped molting. Um, and my reds aren't old enough to molt yet. They're only uh, almost six months old. So I was pretty sure my wine dots were egg bound. Um, so what I have been doing for their egg bound has been feeding them extra protein and extra um, feed with molasses in it. It's feed I buy from Isley's. It's a higher protein and they have molasses in it. And it's good for preventing um, egg bound in your poultry because what it does is um, gives more electrolytes and more sugar. So a lot of people say, no, that's not right. You shouldn't be doing that. But I'm going to go 
uh, from the information I gave was given by Isley's, uh, which is my feed store. Um, and Mark and Matt and uh, Matt's been raising birds for since I was alive. They know their information. Um, so this is the feed that they recommended, and this is the feed that we've been using, uh, and it's been going good. And as of today, obviously they were egg bound because now they're laying. Um, my wine dots are now laying. So that's great. I solved that issue. Now, because it's also getting colder out, I want them to continue laying. And with the smaller birds, um, they lose heat faster than larger birds. So I got to keep the protein up to keep the heat in. Uh, so I'll be doing more deep bedding. Um, but continuing to feed them the quail eggs hey, Hulk. <laughs> to keep the protein up. Um, I don't eat my quail eggs right now. We're kind of sick of them. So instead of wasting them or selling them, I've been boiling them and giving the quail eggs to the chickens and geese. Which I guess is now working. So like I said, she's a wind up. A partridge wind up. She was probably one of the ones that I would consider egg bound. Um, she's still molting. She has the naked knife. I'll let her focus. She's still molting. My art, other partridge wine dots are down here. There's two more. And then Cheek Cheek. Cheek Cheek is the smallest of all four. And uh, she still looks like she's molting a bit. But the other ones are definitely done molting. So I would say they were egg bound. Um, and with the added protein, the added electrolytes and sugar, it's starting to resolve it. So in the mornings, instead of just six eggs, I should actually be getting around nine eggs now. Um, 10, between nine, 10, 11. 11 would be the if every bird that is egg ready lays. Um, if every chicken that's egg ready lays, I should have about 11 eggs. Um, she lays blue. She lays blue. These guys lay the little beige ones. That's the rooster. And these guys lay the bright brown ones. The dark brown ones. We got some nest box action. I actually came in this morning to collect the eggs. Where is she? Her. I actually caught the egg in my hand that she laid, which is pretty great. I've never actually seen a chicken lay egg lay an egg until this morning. Um, I actually caught her egg in my hand um, just to see if she was laying. I put my hand under her, and it was the coolest experience I ever experienced. I actually caught her egg. And the wine nuts, they're pretty shy at laying. They like their quietness. So yeah, something you would know if your chicken is molting or is egg bound. Molting will stop them from laying for a period of time, usually two to three months. Um, sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer, um, but it runs between two, two and a half, three months, usually molting. Um, you won't get eggs in that time frame. I haven't got eggs from the bantams since August uh, so it's now almost the end of October and they're starting to lay and I want to keep them laying all year round um, sometimes with the cold they'll shut down laying regardless and there's nothing you can do about that also with an, a chicken that's egg bound um, she might have went broody um, which if she's you haven't broke her broody fast enough um, if you don't want her to sit on her eggs then they can become egg bound and egg bound can actually make them sick um, it is normal though it does happen but being broody too long and then being egg bound too long can make them sick so you want to get their electrolytes and their sugar and their protein up and a good way for that is to get a feed that has molasses in it because you're getting that natural sugar from the molasses and you're getting the electrolytes from the molasses um, also it's upping the protein content in the feed. Um, another thing is if you have excess eggs or you um, 
can get more eggs, uh, boil them, crush them. I throw mine through a food processor and mix it in with their feed. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and it's been working. Also, I give them crack corn. Um, I usually use the crack corn as a treat, so they get it like once a week because it's not typically something you want to give your chickens a whole lot of. Um, but obviously now it's working because they're laying again. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.